you know, I've been really fortunate that I've been able to build these companies, and that's what gave me the opportunity, you know, because I was building this company myself, you know, and running it, um, I had the opportunity to sort of prove what I could do. Um, I think it's very hard, um, women, it's a little harder for women to prove what they can do in the high-tech industry. I think in a, there are some companies out there that are very focused on making sure they don't have um, any way that they bias um, how they handle their people and so you'll, you do see some companies with some very senior women more and more so in the high-tech industry but I think it's just the inherent of people tend to promote people that are like themselves and and so forth and and so but I think it's it's changing at VMware we have a lot of women executives uh, and they're incredibly talented and and we're very high-tech we're about as high-tech as you get so um, and yes. this, yeah, and there's no function that more you would say more our uh, men will be more technologists, more on the technology side, women perhaps more on the. Oh no, we have some very senior women in our R and D organization that are just incredible. Yeah. So it's just a perception, basically. It's a perception. Yeah. yeah. You know, MIT is almost half woman now. I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Diane. Okay. Thank you.